We have always thought that we would make our own built-in wardrobes from wood and reclaimed materials, but then we wondered, would it be easier just to go to IKEA, buy a flat pack and use it as a carcass and put our own doors on it? And that's what we're investigating in this vlog. Welcome. You will be quite surprised to find out where we're going today. We're heading to Ikea of all places in Milton Keynes. It's quite a trek for us, but we want to look at their wardrobe system. We're not having an Ikea wardrobe as such, but, but we just want to look at their system. We've seen lots of people using them online, and so we want to see if we can get any ideas and whether we can actually use the carcasses as the base for the wardrobe that we want. It's about a two and a half hour drive to our nearest IKEA, so let's hope it's worth it. Living in sleepy, quiet Norfolk, I always forget how busy the roads are when you venture out of the county. Give me one of your sexy smiles. <laughs> I don't think I'll be fitting that all. And here we are. Let's hope it's not too busy. Filming you going into IKEA. Sorry. How exciting! <laughs> it's been quite a while since I last visited an IKEA. I think when the girls were little, they had an IKEA bed and maybe a wardrobe. So, gosh, we're looking at sort of 16, 18 years ago. Because we've come so far, we're not going to brush to the wardrobe system and not look at everything. We'll have a good look around and see if we can see any inspirational ideas. What is it? Yeah. Sure it is. There are four things that we'd specifically like. You know I love a good vase. This is quite nice. I've just seen some shelves that I quite like for the kitchen. Know exactly where they would go and they'd be really, really practical, wouldn't they? They would. Where's the label for them? Is that? No, they're not three pounds each. We'll find them later on, I'm sure. I like those a lot. Do you like those? Yeah, they're good. I do like the look of this kitchen. It reminds me a bit of the Clapton tram, which I visited a few weeks ago. That's a great idea for Imogen's bedroom. She could put her jewellery behind a mirror. Yeah, it's really good. I wouldn't want the IKEA mirror, but we could we could get, a mirror, we could get the yeah, hinges. Yeah. That's a really fun idea. This is very exciting. How exciting is that? So exciting. getting lots of ideas. In our new bedroom, Mark is making a fixed bed and we need a decent mattress, but mattresses can cost thousands. And I know that IKEA actually do well-designed mattresses at a reasonable <laughs> price. Comfortable? Really comfortable. I might have another snooze. Ah, you found it. Oh, look at that. This is where it gets exciting. Apartments. Let's go through this in detail then. So we've got the clothes hanging rails at the top, yeah. shelves, yeah. pull out trouser hanger. Yeah. I don't think we'd need that. Yeah. Mesh basket. I like the idea of that for jumpers, jumpers good. and things. 
Anything really, it doesn't matter. I'll just throw my clothes in there. I'd Pants, socks. Yeah, I probably, I don't know why I like that rather than the drawers. And they're actually cheaper than the drawers as well. So, um, pull out tray. Oh, look at that for all jewellery. Um, belts, belts, jewellery. Then we've got glass front. Well, we don't need those because we're putting our own drawers in. Moving along, so we've got more pull-out trays, mesh baskets, they're just smaller aren't they? Shelves. I thought you said there was a laundry basket somewhere. Let's have a look. This is exactly what we need to see, it all set out like this. Right, this is good. This gives us some proper ideas, let's have a look. I like the mesh baskets. The shoe things are good, but I've got so many shoes, that's not really providing with me with much of a solution. <laughs> these are quite handy, all these little trays. I wondered where Mark had gone. I found him at the design station designing Immy's wardrobe, I think it is. It's quite handy that we can do this here in situ. We're leaving the wardrobe section, a little underwhelmed I must admit, but I'll come back to that later. Let's have a look around the rest of IKEA. I think this is the marketplace, there's always good things to find here. How pretty is this? And these plates are rather nice too. I can just imagine my children when they're setting up their first home. I think they'd love it here. Everything is on tap. You can just rush around and fill your basket. I bet they'd really like it after living with vintage things for all their lives. I'm really looking for the rugs. Where are the rugs? They seem to have moved. There's all sorts of things. Towels, duvets, but so far no rugs. Keep looking. Ah, oh, this is good. Ikea always do good lighting. It's always worth a moot around. You just never know what you'll find. Look at this. It's a son No, it's a table with air purifier. It's not a speaker. That's the light is a speaker and the table is an air purifier. <laughs> I've seen it all now. Yeah, I'm sending lots of photographs through to Rowan because she's desperate for a table lamp for her bedside table, but nothing is taking her fancy at the moment not even this headlamp I thought that might feel I thought she might like this one but no look at this this is so cool I'm not sure how often you would open and close it but how cool is that and there's another one too wow I think we can use this in the bedroom what for? Wrapping up dead wives. <laughs> no, I think that we could. We could. We could actually, because of the way we're going. Because you're going to do a fixed bed, we've probably got enough room to chop these about. And actually, oh, to join actually them. Chop them up. Yeah, join them, and then you get a really nice flooring for, well, nothing really. Good idea.
I never appreciated that IKEA had an expensive proper rug section. Five fifty. I'm looking at this one. Look to go either side of the bed. Huh. Eight hundred pounds. No. Yep. These are proper rug rugs, aren't they? That's what it is. That's great. As you can see, we have picked up a rug to take home with us, but it's not an £800 one, or not even a £550 one. That's it, our trip to Ikea is almost done. Time to travel home now and have some good conversations about what we thought about the Ikea wardrobe system. I think we need to go back to the drawing board, but more about that later. As we travel home, let me remind you about Buy Me A Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is a website where if you enjoy our free content, you can show your appreciation by buying us a coffee, or in our case, a green tea. As always, there is a link in the description below to buy me a coffee. And a big thank you to everyone who has already bought us a coffee. All this talk about wardrobes and bedrooms has inspired me to bring Immy out for breakfast and to have a breakfast meeting about her bedroom requirements. It's really interesting to find out what she wants. Mark and I had a really, really good conversation on our way home from Ikea and I think we were hoping to be more impressed than we actually were which is a shame because it would have made our lives a lot easier. Anyway, we can't stop thinking about the drawers that we spotted at Tony Two Sheds the other week. So I think we're going to go back up to Tony Two Sheds and see if he's still got them. And then we can make a real decision about which way we want to go with the wardrobe. One thing that I did realise when we were in Ikea is that I don't really know the layout that I need. So we were using the design tool, which was really, really helpful. But then I realised that I didn't know how many dresses I had or how many shoes, jackets, coats, all that sort of thing. Accessories, tights, socks. So what I have done since we came home is I've actually done an audit. I've got everything out of the plastic bags and boxes that they're in and looked at my hanging rail and I've done an audit so I really know now how many things I've got and the type of storage that I need for them so that should make my life a lot easier. After a fun but not hugely successful trip to Ikea the other day we're heading back to Tony Two Sheds up on the Norfolk coast to see if he has got the drawers that we spotted the other week. We spotted some drawers and thought that they would be brilliant for um, using in a wardrobe so I can't imagine it sold them but you never know so we're heading up today in the glorious sunshine and uh, fingers crossed they've still got them We just spotted this door on the way in. That's really nice, isn't it? It's had a bit of two dodgy repairs, but we can sort that out. Mm, we'll ask about those. I think we should ask about the railings as well that we just saw. Yeah, I think we've got some stretching drums on. Is that what we need for our shed? The base of the shed, yeah. On the, on the top floor. We'll find out how much those are then. How many do we need? about 40 in total. Sixty-five. Sixty-five, that was really the looking concentration that I was just coming in closer. Is it actually in the ground? It's in the ground, yeah. <laughs> That's just a bit bigger. Mm. They're in that shed, I think, up there. Oh. 
really nice. Are they windows? Yeah, windows. They're not here, are they? It's, prob moved, it's probably because I showed them on social media. Oh, probably. Yeah, there, there ah. Oh. Perfect. Oh, they're different ones, but they're even better. better. Let's have a look. I'm not sure whether that's original or not, but they look nice. Brilliant. I can't imagine those I are original. Imagine original it, like that doesn't them. matter though. Okay. This so we've got a bit in the middle like that, which is 20 mil. Section about 59 centimetres. Or we could just have a run of them down. You could, or, you, or yeah, you could just do one section, which would be easier. Just one. a whole a whole section of just. They're nice. We'll find out how much no. those are. I can't believe all those are. It's probably my fault. Probably my fault for, fault for promoting them. For promoting them. <laughs> Hopefully, he's just moved them. I doubt there he has. Disappointingly, we have missed out on the drawers that we saw the other week. There's just nine left, so we will take all of those. But before we go, there's a few bits that take our fancy, so we're just going to have a good look around to make sure that we don't miss anything else. Well, we went to look at drawers and we've come back with loads of things. So what did we buy? So we've got um, a lovely arch-topped door, which does need a bit of work on it and a repair, but it's fine. So that's the door for the woodshed that will face on to One of the doors, yeah, it is. And then we've got, uh, oh, some Victorian railings, cast iron railings, which are really nice with a gate. So, so they will be in the... Um, they're at the back of the house. The back of the, what's it called, courtyard? Yeah and uh, oh what else do we buy oh we've got all my stretch plinths for the for the um, log store for the log store which are like slopey bricks and some drawers as well and some drawers yeah happy days that's really is that all we got yes yeah and we measured up some other doors yes yeah brilliant brilliant it was a really fun trip to go to Ikea and as we haven't been for so long it was really really interesting to see all the designs and what there was out there to buy but I think we are going to go with an Ikea mattress. It was affordable and very very comfortable so I think when the time comes we possibly will go for an Ikea mattress. However I don't think we are going to go for the wardrobe carcass ideas. It just wasn't as impressive as we'd hoped. And we've done the maths and stacked up all the figures. And it is actually going to be more cost effective for us to make our wardrobes ourselves. You can buy all the fixtures and fittings. The wood is cheaper. And let's face it, it comes as a flat pack anyway. So you've got to put it together. So we are going to design it ourselves and make it ourselves. I'm sure you're not surprised. So this is what we came back with from Tony Two Sheds. A really beautiful rec reclaimed drawer, which we are going to use in our wardrobe. Now for context, this cost us, including the sign writing on the front, which is a new addition, that cost us £10 per drawer. And if we bought a comparable IKEA drawer, that would have cost us £30 per drawer. Obviously we need to get the, the fixtures and fittings to make that work but even so personally I think that's nicer and it's quite a cost saving too. I really hope you enjoyed that vlog it helps to explain our thought process hopefully and some of you have been asking about how we're getting on with the small bathroom on suite and bedroom it's happening we're actually turning our attention at the moment to the outside because it's sunny outside but little jobs are happening in the bathroom in the evenings and so hopefully we should be able to give you an update on that soon so bear with us thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time bye for now